Hello, I'm David. This week, I've mostly been thinking about how life and our world all kind of looks like a bad dystopian movie of some kind, like a mashup of different kinds of dystopias. And I come back to kind of the idea of a totalitarian 1984 Orwellian world kind of versus an Aldous Huxley brave new world type of scenario. When I was a kid, I remember when we first got the internet at home, when it became widely publicly available, I was probably 13 or so, and before that, uh, I had connected to online bulletin board systems and participated in, you know, message boards and graffiti walls and whatever. And at the time, it wasn't considered popular, it was just sort of a computer nerd thing that computer nerds did. <clears throat> Nobody really had an interest in it. And you fast forward to today, and everyone is doing all of the old things from a BBS world now, as if it were new and trendy. <clears throat> Twitter, X, Instagram, Reddit, any of that kind of stuff really all existed prior to even the internet. But when I was younger and first on the internet, I looked at I looked at computers and I looked at the internet and I thought, wow, this is the everything box. And kind of like how in ancient Rome they were able to deliver water either very cheaply or free, I looked at the internet and I thought, okay, we're going to do the same kind of thing but with information. And the assumption being uh, the free flow of information will inherently make the world a better place all around. I kind of envisioned education being free, people sharing ideas, and just generally, people being freed up, having more freedom, and more time to pursue things in a greater understanding in general, by the population in general. But, uh, <coughs> well, I guess there has been some of that. There's a lot of chaos. And a lot of corruption of what I guess could be a, a better, more pure, more good system with the flow of information and connection of people through technology. Now, what's kind of uh, stuck out to me is like how YouTube, for example, would have first started <clears throat> back in 2005 or six. Now it's kind of morphed into this thing where everybody is chasing views and followers and even just the nomenclature or vernacular of uh, likes and following and uh, super chats for money um, and the whole idea that you could even, with good intention, start uh, communicating or interacting on these platforms and then just by the very nature of the systems themselves of likes and dislikes and the inclusion of a monetary component 
and people just commenting and pushing you or shoving you in a direction to chase likes and change your message and it's no longer <clears throat> purely about sharing information, seeking truth or betterment. It starts getting corrupted by what catches views. And that sort of idea, uh, I guess, is kind of in an overdrive or extreme. When you look at uh, a platform like TikTok, uh, somebody in one of the news platforms had mentioned uh, a TikToker by the name of Amber Unavailable. And if you go and look at her TikTok feed, it's uh, just sort of this mind-blasted craziness of silly insanity for, I guess, the sake of chasing views, where she just does this kind of strange and weird behavior. And when the compoundingly absurd thing, I guess, is she gets tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands or a million plus views for just abject, insane behavior. So I guess that's predominantly what I've been thinking about this week is how we're in probably more closely to a brave new world type of dystopian future where we're just distracted and our time is spent on all of these kind of hedonistic, silly, pointless and meaningless kind of uh, things that catch our attention in time and even kind of blast and blow up people's minds who are creating the so-called content because they're not exactly doing any kind of communication that is good or meaningful per se, but they are uh, caught up in the chaos or firestorm or whatever the insanity of digital social media is that just leads people to uh, chase likes and validation from people behind a screen, a whole kind of a black mirror kind of dystopian rabbit hole, I guess. So, yeah, I don't have, I don't have a whole lot else <clears throat> really to talk about. Otherwise, I think, uh, for the most part, my past week or so has actually been fairly good. Work is still uh, as irritating as it has been for the past year or so, and predominantly for the same reasons, which I don't think have really improved much, but the pace at work has at least been slower, so I've been able to ca catch up on stuff in general without just endless project activity going on and <clears throat> it's the end of summer or to me it's the end of summer my kids will go back to school uh, starting at the end of this month and that means at least for me and them there'll be less time for us together so I don't particularly look forward to that reality. Wish I could spend my time doing more things I actually like to do and uh, with my kids and people I like to be around rather than just seemingly working all of the time for the purposes of paying bills and taxes and not having a whole lot of just meaningful fun enjoyment or something else but yeah oh and uh, this week I mostly had smoothies for lunch and 
Uh, I made Hawaiian macaroni salad, so that was good. Anyway, uh, that's all I really kind of have to talk about. I wish it was uh, maybe a little, little bit more fleshed out and interesting, but I was not extremely motivated to sit down and have a uh, poor excuse for a therapy session with myself, but I f figured I might as well force myself to do it and uh, just get it done. I actually did go to therapy for some period of time, uh, shorter period of time, longer period of time, I don't know, depending on how you look at it. Went to group therapy sessions for a while. That was uh, thoroughly, <laughs> thoroughly depressing to sit in group therapy sessions, but later went to individual therapy and personally I found it kind of a mixed bag because well I thought the therapist was probably well she was very smart very smart well spoken and I think probably well intentioned um, paying someone to sit in a room with you and talk about your uh, kind of inane common problems is uh, sort of silly and then at the end of the day really nobody's going to help you with anything anyway you're just it always just comes down to you have to figure out your own problems anyway and paying somebody to sit in a room and mull over your uh, so-called problems is just kind of silliness anyway i think you just end up doing this anyway, talking to yourself and trying to find a a so-called good and positive direction in which to move and actionable items or steps you can take along your path to achieve a goal. So, I don't know. That was my experience with therapy. I might as well. I might as well sit in a room with myself and talk to myself. It's It's about as effective, <laughs> which is, you know, whatever <clears throat> so anyway that's it uh, it feels a lot like we're living in a dystopian reality in my opinion and probably probably closer to brave new world than 1984 but there's certainly some elements of 1984 so anyway hope you're having a good week talk to you later probably